The next story I wanted to talk about is titled Life Sentence Reduced for Man Who Helped Murder an Atheist, Madeline Murray O'Hare. This is on Friendly Atheist website written by Hemant Mehta, so let's give this a read and see what it says. In 1995, Madeline Murray O'Hare, the founder of American Atheists and still one of the best-known atheists in the country, was kidnapped, along with her son and granddaughter, by a man who worked for the organization. All three atheists were later killed. It's a horrific story that had everything to do with money and nothing to do with atheism. The details can be read here. There's also a Netflix movie. I actually heard the Netflix movie was complete trash. I don't know how true that is. Basically, Madeline Murray O'Hare started American Atheists, and she was uh, supposedly being hunted in her town for it, similar to what is happening to me right now. I don't know enough about the story to speak with, uh, to speak on it authoritatively. You should look into it a little bit more if you're curious, but I can definitely relate to what it was probably like for Madeline Murray O'Hare to start an atheist organization um, in a town uh, that fucking hated her. I can definitely relate to that. Anyway, let's keep reading. David Roland Waters and Gary Carr were two of the men involved in the scheme. Waters was given a 20-year prison sentence but died in 2003. Carr was handed two life sentences, having been found guilty on charges that included extortion and money laundering. I heard that they hadn't actually caught the guy who uh, orchestrated the whole thing and actually did it, but that may not be accurate now. This is Hemin Mehta again. He was not charged with kidnapping because the victim's bodies had not been found at the time. Carr remains in prison to this day. He He's the only culprit still alive. Okay, well, I guess they did discover all of the, uh, the people involved. I'm glad he was caught. I'm glad they were all caught, apparently. Back to Hemin Mehta. But the Supreme Court ruled a few years ago that the sorts of crimes Carr was found guilty of were not eligible for life sentences. Really? Interesting. With that in mind, yesterday, U.S. District Judge Lee Yeekel resentenced Carr to a grand total of about 50 years in prison. The 21 years he's already served will count toward that sentence. Fascinating. So this guy could actually get out. Like, he stands a chance of living to see the day when he gets out. This is a quote. I think this is just about as serious a crime as I have ever seen in this court. The severity, the uh, seriousness, and the horror of this crime has not changed in the 26 years since it was committed, Yeekel said. This is Hemant Mehta again. Given that Carr is currently a, in his 70s, the new sentence shouldn't make much of a difference. He'll spend the rest of his life behind bars where he belongs. Like I said, this is actually a pretty high-profile situation, the killing of Madeline Murray O'Hare. And I heard that there was a lot more to it, that it was dramatized by, like, Netflix and a bunch of other documentaries. People were very unhappy with it. Uh, who were close to the situation, like higher up, like kings of atheism type of people, didn't like how some of these documentaries portrayed the situation because they felt that it was completely incorrect. I can't really speak to whether or not it was because I wasn't there, I wasn't involved in any way, and I haven't even seen the documentaries. But I will tell you this. I can tell you that being an open atheist in a town, starting a nonprofit like American Atheists, and publicizing it in this town is not a popular thing to do. I have to imagine that this woman, Madeline Murray O'Hare, I have to imagine she went through a lot of the same things that I'm going through now with people, you know, threatening my life, saying they're going to burn my house down and taking pictures of my house and my cars and looking for me when I'm at the grocery store and all this other stuff, I have to imagine that she experienced some of this too. And you know who else did? Who else experienced this kind of thing? This kind of mob mentality coming down on you? The person who invented birth control or created the first Planned Parenthood center, that kind of thing. Those people have experienced a lot of similar things. People in the U.S. can be fucking violent. That's why it's called terrorism. That's what this is. It's terrorism. Seriously. We absolutely have to stay on top of this and take these threats seriously. Because this kind of thing fucking happens. An atheist creates an organization. Like I said, I don't know if this is why she was attacked or not, but an atheist creates an organization. 
and winds up brutally murdered a couple of years later. An atheist blows the whistle on a health teacher who is preaching to her class, and the same kind of shit happens to me. I mean, that this is the kind of scary shit that you guys have to think about. Seriously, we have an extremism problem in the United States, and it has to be dealt with. We've got to get a, an army of fucking therapists out here to deal with some of these people and get a fucking grip on the fake news that spreads around like wildfire. At least the guy will spend the rest of his life in jail. That's all I really care about.